Picel is present during the breakfast before Joffrey and Marjorie's wedding, and stands with the Lannisters in the Great Sept of Baelor during the ceremony. At the feast, following Marjorie's announcement that all leftovers will be given to the poor of the city, he harasses a young woman but is cut short by Cersei, who commands him to go to the kitchens and make sure all the remaining food is instead given to the dogs in the royal kennels. Picel protests, and Cersei angrily tells him she will have him fed to the dogs if he does not. He is back in his seat next to Varys when the dwarf mummers do a reenactment of the War of the Five Kings, much to his amusement. Minutes later, he witnesses Joffrey's death by poisoning. Picel is present at the coronation ceremony of his new king Tommen. He is one of the first to bow before his new king. During Tyrion's trial for regicide, Picel is called as a witness for the Iron Throne. He reads a lengthy list of poisons that is kept in the Red Keep and states that they were stolen from him by Tyrion, after he had him imprisoned in the Black Cells. He also concludes that the poison used to assassinate Joffrey was a rare poison called, the Strangler. Picel reveals his evidence, the necklace that Sansa wore to the wedding, which shows residue of the poison. He concludes that Tyrion conspired with his wife to, strike down the most noble child the gods ever put on this good earth. Picel is present during Tyrion's trial by combat, and begins delivering an opening speech, until Tywin demonstrates his annoyance at Picel's verbosity by cueing the horn player to sound out a blast signaling the beginning of the showdown and prematurely cutting Picel off, humiliating him and forcing him to shuffle off in silence. Later, Picel and Kyburn are in his laboratory, tending to the mountain's body when Cersei comes to visit them. Picel informs Cersei that Oberyn had coated his spear with manticore venom which has poisoned Gregor. The effects are horrific and Esser Gregor's wounds are putrefying and creating a terrible stench. Picel says that he is beyond any hope of recovery, but Kyburn insists to Cersei that he can save him using less orthodox methods. Picel chafes at his suggestion, stating that arrogance like that is what led to Kyburn's expulsion from the Citadel, for experiments that were both dangerous and unnatural. Cersei, who wants to save the mountain from death, orders Kyburn to do whatever is necessary and tells Picel that it's no longer his laboratory. Picel leaves angered, 